Hey, hi developers. I'm Shahin Shah back with another update on HoloLens. And uh, in this video, I'm going to explain you how to set up the HoloLens emulator. So first, uh, I'll explain you. So for HoloLens development, you need Visual Studio 2015 Community Edition is free. I, you can go ahead and have uh, update 1 or update 2. So here is a page where you can get uh, all the details about tools and requirements for the visual uh, for uh, developing a hololens application so let me go ahead and check out what are the details required for development so you need to have a visual studio 2015 update 2 and uh, uh, and you need to download the hololens emulator so this video in i'll explain you how to how to go ahead and uh, set up your emulator so the first thing is first you have to have a windows 10 pro pc so you need to have a windows 10 10 pro 64 bit so this is a must you have to activate the hyper v option in windows features so go to here you have to go settings and go to windows so first we have to enable the developer mode go to settings and go to update and security and then go for developers and you have to select the developer mode so once you have done this and then you have to go to the windows features which is in control panel go to the control panel and go to the programs and go to programs and features turn windows features on so uh, i would say developer mode in settings should be on and hyper v in windows features should be on so here you will be able to see Hyper-V option. This is enabled only in Windows 10 Pro but not in Windows 10 Home. And then you need to on the virtualization in BIOS. You can enter into BIOS by giving F2 when the system is on in Windows 10. Or you can find the ways, uh, other ways uh, in Google to how to turn on virtualization in BIOS. But in most of the laptops, in recent laptops, virtualization is by default on. So this is done. Then install Visual Studio first. Step 1. Install Visual Studio 2015. Update 2 and step 2 install the emulator so while installing the uh, uh, while installing the emulator it will ask for uh, different things whether the bios it will check for bios virtualization is on hyper v is on and it will generate a log if you get an error while installing an uh, emulator then you can go to the log and you can check it so in this page you can directly click on visual studio 2015 update 2 then you will be going to a page where you will get an visual studio community edition for free or you can download the visual studio professional or enterprise edition for price so i have have uh, a account in uh, microsoft and i have downloaded the visual studio community edition it's fully functional and it's free so I have downloaded it and I have installed this Visual Studio. Next, after you have installed the Visual Studio, go ahead and check out the HoloLens emulator. When you click this, an exe will be downloaded into your downloads folder. Go to the downloads folder and you can install this emulator setup. So while installing the emulator setup, it will check for the BIOS, it will check for the Hyper-V option and it will check, check the laptop com compatibility. I have made an another video where 
actually it talks about the software and hardware requirements so in this video i'm not going to say about the hardware requirements if you want to check the hardware requirements go to my other videos and check for software and hardware requirements so here after installing that once the installation its installation is as simple as clicking on next 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 so once the installation is done go to your uh, visual studio and then once you once you open the launch the visual studio then you should be able to see hololens emulator which means it has been successfully installed so if you don't see this your hololens emulator is not installed and also for hololens emulator to work well you should need to have a graphics card good graphics card for faster processing and also you need to have a minimum of 8 gb and you need to have a dual core at least and i would recommend i5 or i7 so if you see this hololens emulator in your uh, visual studio click on it and it should be able to change to hololens emulator so when you click on this hololens emulator it should open an emulator for you if the emulator is open successfully which means that your setup is finished and you are ready to build the holographic applications and this is specially for the device called microsoft hololens which has been recently in market for developers so in the next video i will let you know how to have how to build a sample application in uh, visual studio for the hololens so check out my other videos thank you and here we have uh, got the hololens emulator on this emulator is a simulator for the original device so if you don't have a hololens device you can go ahead and download this and start developing the holographic applications thank you check out my other videos